Okay guys, great. So now we are going to make the actual prompt plan we have for Lovable. So let's see how it actually look. If I will go here to the document called example of prompt, prompt chain, you will see uh, we have actually set of orders and the actions we need to do uh, to make our platform. So I'm going to take this format. Okay. I will go to my project and I'm going to make a new one and we'll say please make a, a new prompt chain plan for my project based on that format and I will paste it and based on that details and then I will go to my overview. I will copy it. And then I will also go to my structure. Copy it. It's a lot of stuff, yeah. And then we will go to our UX UI. and copy it. Oops, one moment. Actually, we don't need this thing. Okay, passed. Now, before we send it, let's make sure uh, that he's not using the chain of prompts example as the details. So let's write, make sure the example of chain of prompts is not considered as our platform details and send okay let's wait for the answer and let's continue and as you can see we actually have our all prompts plan already made up for us okay now we're going to work with it all the time uh, and maybe also not okay it's not like a rule but it's a great starting point for you guys to at least, you know, find your hands and legs uh, there and understand how you're actually starting to make the whole platform in an optimized way for Lovable. Because Lovable, there is some limitations we need to take care uh, about the AI. For example, you can't put more than two or three actions in one prompt and so on. And there are stuff that you have to do first before you proceed to other features. So that's the way to make the prompt plan. Let's move on and actually learn how to use Lovable.